Hi friends, welcome to Venki's channel. In the previous video, we have learned about roast pan and call span for HTML tables. Today we are going to learn about image maps in HTML. So first let's discuss what are image maps in HTML. We know that we can convert an image into a hyperlink by embedding it within the anchor tag. But what if we want to create multiple hyperlinks on an image? For example, see this image. I want only this rectangle area to be a clickable area and only this circle area to be clickable. So how can we achieve this? For that, we have to use image maps in HTML. So let's learn how to do that. So let's go to Sublime Text. And here I have already added the image and its name is imagemap.jpg. And for creating image maps in HTML, we have to use the map tag. So for the map tag, we have to must and should give any name. So here I have given the name as map only. And for the image tag, we have to give the attribute use map. And then we have to mention the hashtag and then we have to mention the name of the map. So within the map tag, we can add n number of areas to be clickable. So let me add the first area. So let me type area. And these are the three must and should attributes for the area tag. They are shape, coords and hyperlink the reference so let's go to chrome and you can see that the first shape is rectangle so for rectangle we have to mention the shape as rect so here we have to mention the coordinates so before that let's give hyperlink reference so here you can see that it says click here to go to page one so it has to go to page one so let's give page one dot html and we are going to be creating this later and now let's learn how to give chords chords are nothing but the coordinates of the area this is one of the most important attributes of the area tag so to give this first we have to give the x area which means the topmost corner here from vertical and next we have to give the y value which is same value but horizontally and next we have to give x plus width and then we have to give y plus height so let's learn how to get this coordinates with a software which is available in all windows machines that is ms paint ms paint is available in all windows machines so first we have to click on view tab and then we have to check the rulers checkbox now let's open our image here so let's click on ctrl o for the open dialog box and let's choose the image map image and now let's open this now we can see that this image is opened in ms paint so let's get this coordinate vertically as i said x coordinate is vertical so let me place my cursor here and then you can see that the red color mark here says 100 it's exactly between 0 and 200 so it is 100 and as you can see highlighted in the bottom left corner it says 101,97 so we have to take the first number which is 101 so I have not placed the cursor accurately if we place accurately it will say 100 I have created this image so I know the coordinates. I have created this image using a software called GIMP. GIMP is a free software to edit images. So first let's give the x coordinate as 100. So let me remove x here and then let me give 100 and let's go back here and now let's get the value horizontally. So if you place it correctly again it's at 100. And down you can see that the second number is 103. That's because I didn't place the cursor accurately. I have created the image here. 
so I know the correct coordinates so y is also 100 so let me remove y and let me give 100 now we need to know the width so we know that this is at 100 pixels and this far end is at 900 pixels so 100 to 900 is 800 so the width of this is 800 pixels and we know that x value is 100 so 100 plus 800 is 900 so let's remove x this width and let's type 900 next y plus i so y is already 100 and here it's 100 and the bottom part is at 400 so 100 to 400 is 300 so the height is 300 so y plus height is 400 so let's remove y plus height and let's type 400 now let's save our changes and let's create page1.html so let me create a new, new page by pressing ctrl n and let me save it as page1.html and let me give the basic structure of html and let me give the title as page1 and let me mention the body bg color as black so bg color equal to black now let's save our changes and refresh the browser now we can see that when i move my cursor anywhere in the image it does not change into a pointer symbol but as soon as i go into this rectangle it changes into a pointer if i click anywhere else it won't do anything but if i click in this rectangle it will go to page1.html and you can see that the title is page1 and the background color has changed into black so now let's learn how to give a circle area so within the map tag let's mention another area and then let's give the shape for it as circle so let me give shape equal to circle and then we have to give quads so for circle the quads are center x comma center y comma radius so let's learn about all of these three dimensions now let's go to ms paint to get the coordinates so first of all center x means the vertical center so if we go into the center vertically it is at 500 pixels i have created this image so i know it's 500 pixels and in the bottom left corner you can see that it says 501 and 947 so we have to consider the first value so let me mention the center x as 500 so let me remove center x and give 500 and now let's get to center y so that is the horizontal center so let me go into the center horizontally and then you can see that it's 725 i have created this image so i know that it is 725 if you create the image you have to know the center it's tough to find the center y using softwares like ms paint so let me give 725 and the radius will be center y minus center x so 725 minus 500 is 225 so radius will be 225 now let's save our changes and the browser now you can see that whenever i move my cursor into the circle it changes into pointer if i click anywhere it doesn't do anything but when i click on the circle nothing happens because we did not give the hyperlink reference so let's give page 2.html and let's create another file by pressing ctrl n and then let's save it as page 2.html and let's give the basic structure of html document title as page 2 and then let's give bg color as pink now let's save our changes and refresh the browser now let's click on the circle and now you can see that the background color has changed into pink friends hope you have understood clearly about image maps in html if paint is not comfortable to find the coordinates you can use any other image editing software such as gimp 
Photoshop editing. So any image editing software in laptops will give us the coordinates of an image. Bye friends.